Today I'm going to be going through all of the seeds that I collected this past fall and determining which ones need cold moist stratification. I googled all the types of seeds that I have and wrote down how long, how many weeks they need to be in the refrigerator for cold moist stratification. And now I'm just going to go ahead and set up um, that process. So essentially all I need is a, a roll of paper towels, some freezer bags. I find the one quart ones usually work unless I have a ton of seeds and um, some water. The water is a uh, room temperature. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and dip the, water, the paper towel in and then wring it out really well. Because you don't want the paper towel to be too moist or you can end up growing mold in a short amount of time. Um, if the seeds do get some mold on them, it's okay. Um, they will still, for the most part, they'll still germinate. It's just um, I don't like to work with the seeds that have the mold on them because I don't want to be breathing that in. Um, when I pull them out of the refrigerator. So it's best to keep that um, not too damp. And I have some common milkweed here that I saved. And common milkweed needs at least 30 days. Although I have found that in the past. So I'm just gonna spread those seeds out on my paper towel, on one side of the paper towel, one half. And it's just a nice thin layer, single layer. And um, I have found though that that even though it says a 30 day minimum, that that's kind of just a guideline. I have had milkweed seeds that I forgot about for an entire year and then planted them a whole year later after they'd been in the fridge and yes, gotten a little bit moldy um, and they still germinated. So if for some reason you start this process and then you get busy and you find that you weren't able to get them in the ground this year, don't despair, you can still use those seeds, you can still plant those seeds next year. You will still get plants that grow from them. So, um, so don't throw them out. Uh, they are still useful. They can stay in much longer than the 30 days. So then I just fold my uh, paper towel over so that the seeds don't fall out as I'm putting it into the baggie. I stick it in the bag and try to make sure it's still open. Uh, as much as possible, squeeze all the air out. Then I'm gonna just label my bag so that I know this is common milkweed. It needs a minimum of 30 days and today's date. Now I'm getting started late. I could have done this back in um, November or December right after I collected the seeds, I just got busy. Um, but it's okay because no matter when I take them out of the uh, 30 days is going to be fine. Some of my other seeds need 90 days, um, but that's going to be okay too because I can plant native plants all season long and they'll still be fine. And, and the, by the second year, they'll, they'll be strong. So um, that's all you do. So that's just one way to do this process. There's lots of different ways out there, so go ahead and, and take some time to compare and contrast all the different ways and see which one works best for your space. Thanks for watching, and if you um, would like to see more of what I'm doing in my garden, you can subscribe below.